When we turn it on, there's going to be a glow in the short north. As you come south from the campus, the Ohio State campus, uh, it, it is gorgeous. It will say, you're here. For so many years, this sign has been a symbol of urban decay, but it's been revamped and will stand as a glowing gateway to what's going on inside. You walk in here and it just begs to be a theater again. Built in the mid-1800s, it was built out as a vaudeville house. The trappings of that flapper era are still found beneath the stage. It's the second oldest existing theater in Columbus, second only to the Great Southern. Now a professional theater company is ready to help give the still shabby end of the short north its due. We're in the performing arts. We're, we were sad that the performing arts are, have a very low profile anymore in the short north. It's the short north arts district. So we would love to see the, the, this north end of the short north blossom as a performing arts uh, uh, center not only for the city, but regionally and maybe someday nationally. Starting in two weeks with Sondheim's Follies, its plot centers around an aging theater. But this one is destined for glory. The Columbus Arts Council funded an architectural study that shows it will take three to four million dollars to restore the building. Now that uh, sounds like a lot, but it's way less than it costs the Lincoln or other theaters. And when we talk to uh, um, people who are involved with restorations and, and they, they say that's a doable amount. We just don't have it right now, but our next phase is to try to figure out ways to get it. And after all, that sparkling sign is already in place. It's optimism. It's, you know, it's, it's going to be green. It's the, the garden is, is growing again and it has a, literally it has a new, a, a lease on a new life.